Last week I made a tutorial for beginners introducing them to GUI automation using PyAuto GUI. Today I'm going to explain the locate on screen and locate center on screen commands in PyAuto GUI. So the first thing I have to say about the locate on screen command is that I find it largely useless. When you use it, it returns the dimensions and the location of the object you're looking for. This is useless to me because if I try to use the coordinates it gives me to click on the object, I'll usually just miss it because I'll be clicking on the top left corner of the object. Useless. A much more useful version of the command, in my opinion, is locate center on screen. This command returns the X and Y position of the object you're looking for. To use it, have a screenshot of the object in the same folder as your Python file. Be sure PyAuto GUI is installed and type chords equals center on screen file name.png. Now you can use these coordinates straight into a click command or a move to command or whatever you need to use. Full documentation of this command is linked in the description for whoever wants to look at it in more detail. Here's some examples of the locate command in action. Alright, so say you wanted to create a function that opened a new tab in Chrome. First we want a screenshot of the new tab button, which is right here. And then we're going to save that in the same folder as our Python project. And so first we have to find out where it is, so we'll do chords equal.png. So now it'll search the whole screen for new tab.png. And then we can do pyogui.click on chords. And all we have to do is go ahead and run that function. Get out of the way. Boom, it did it again. It did it. Okay, did it. Wow, it's almost like it knows that the button's not where it was before. So cool, so cool. Say I wanted to make a program that I don't know, subscribe to my YouTube channel. To do that, I would again take a screenshot of the button. We'll save it as subscribe.png. And again, we'll do chords equals subscribe.png. And then we do pyautogui.click on chords. We'll run the subscribe function. And, oops. Now see here, this everyone makes mistakes, guys. Boom, it'll work now, it'll work now. Wow, it worked! Now I'm, now I'm subscribed to the coolest channel on earth. Isn't that so cool? Isn't that so cool? If you found this guide useful, do me a favor and hit the like button. If you'd like to see more videos in the future, subscribe to be notified when a new one comes out. Jason, you should edit out my stupid mistake. <laughs> or like, edit it smoothly so it's not as stupid. <laughs>